Instead, I'm going to talk to you about climate change because I'm majoring in marine biology and I kind of know how it affects the oceans and it's not good. So let's get into it. Basically, because of climate change, we are actually losing a lot of coral reefs. If we were to make a massive globalized effort as a species to stop climate change and global warming by the end of the century, we will still lose between 70 and 90 percent of all coral reefs in the oceans. And if we do absolutely nothing by the end of the century, we will have lost every single coral reef beyond repair. And further, because of us, there are over a trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean right now. This plastic is so dangerous, it is killing everything from seabirds to whales, even sharks and sea turtles, and also every single species of sea turtle is now endangered because of us and because of the plastic that they put into the ocean and because of hunting them for their shells and eggs. Also, because of us, there is a massive loss of Arctic sea ice, and this is actually leading walruses to be unable to get into the oceans, and thus, they fall off cliffs to a horrible, painful death. Lab Girl Hairstyles Part 2, and this one's vintage inspired. A Lab Girl Hairstyle is a hairstyle that keeps your hair out of your way, but also doesn't get messed up by goggles. So we're going to start by sectioning out a piece of hair, and then we're going to tie the rest in a bun in the back. We're going to curl that piece of hair, and then you're just going to pin it into place. And you can do your makeup while it's pinned into place and cooling, or your pre-lab, or whatever you'd like. Just a couple minutes later, you're going to take out the clips, and then you're going to start combing. And you basically want to comb waves into the hair following the kind of general curl pattern. So you're going to comb back and front, and then you're going to have ridges just like this. And it kind of makes this nice wave all the way back. Then you're going to use some hairspray, and you're going to hair dry it to kind of set it into place, and then you're going to take out the clips very carefully. And then you're just going to smooth it down with a comb, and then bobby pin the waves into place so they're very secure, and you're good to go, and goggles go on just fine. I picked biology. I'm a biologist because I did not like that chemistry is math. I do not like numbers and I do not like that math and chemistry are a thing. So I picked biology thinking no math for me. I had to do an experiment today and the particular solution I was working with needed to be at a pH of 10 but it was at seven, so I needed a base. But the only base that I had was sodium hydroxide pellets. Oh, so I needed to make a one mole sodium hydroxide solution out of the pellets. I didn't know what the fuck a mole was. I have made it this far in my goddamn scientific career without knowing what a fucking mole is. So I had to Google that shit and figure out how to make these sodium hydroxide pellets a one mole solution so that I could then to fucking titrate the goddamn solution. He's here. He's an hour late, but he's here. Oh, <laughs> they called him an oddball. That's kind of rude. Eh. Oh, they have a cold pack on him. Ooh. So this is a cool thing. Uh, this is what they do a lot of the times with aggressive fish is they black out the bags so they're a lot less stressed out and stop trying to fight things. They usually do it when they're packaged with other fish, though. They called him an oddball again. Oh my god, he's so little! <laughs> Look at him! So normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm actually going to cut the top off the bag so it can get some air in there because he has actually a labyrinth fish, meaning they breathe through a crude lung rather than oxygen in the water so much while he temperature acclimates. <laughs> He's so tiny! Two inches my ass, he was packaged by a straight man. He's already trying to fight. The other day I got hired to teach this high school group about developmental biology and how we can use embryos to kind of learn a little bit more about our own evolutionary past. And suddenly I got the worst or maybe best idea that I've had in a long time. You see, when an animal egg is first fertilized, it goes through this period of rapid cell division, and you end up with this little cluster of undifferentiated cells. Now, the very first thing to develop on that is the digestive tract. It starts as a little dent called a blastopore that then becomes a hollow tube that's still a hollow tube through your body to this day. But there's two kinds of animals in the world. There are the protostomes, where that initial dent is their mouth, and then there's the deuterostomes, where that initial dent is their anus. And you'll never guess what group humans are in. So this got me thinking, right? All my favorite YouTubers and TikTokers, they have like these cutesy little fun names for their subscribers like Lovelies or Chickadees or Greg. So since there was a time in all of our lives when we were all literally just anuses, what if I started opening all my videos with, what's up assholes, let's talk about science. <laughs> Cool.
cool science fact. If you took your small intestine and laid it all out in a straight line, you would be dead. If you were to donate 70% of your liver, it would regrow in about a year. And on the flip side, if you got even 30% of a liver from a donor, those cells would create a full-sized organ in about a year. Why? Well, when you cut off part of the liver, the cells get a signal to start growing and multiplying until there's just a whole organ there again. You can't donate, like, infinite livers, though. When the liver grows back, the shape and structure of the tissue aren't quite the same as in a brand new organ. That's because when you first grew a liver, you use stem cells, which got a few to make a very specific looking organ. But when someone regrows their liver, they're using mature liver cells, which are just multiplying to fill in a gap. So a regrow liver totally works, but if you tried to donate it, it probably wouldn't cooperate with original liver tissue. ¿Cuántas? ¿Cuántas veces hemos hablado de no extraer a la fauna del lugar? O sea, pregunto en serio, ¿cuántas? No hagan esto, por favor. ¿Va?